how you doing over there, okay? Working on those mountains, lots of texture, a new difficulty, okay? But you gotta take your time on it, all right? And don't overthink it, all right? Try not to overthink your paintings, just let loose. This is all for practice and we're eventually gonna get to those advanced steps here. But again, I want you to turn the basic into something a little bit more extraordinary. Now, on this episode, we're gonna go ahead and take that original. You can see we've already worked on our sky. We've got our mountains. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add an element of water. You can see I've got this blue right down here. That was from our basic you know, step as far as making the canvas all blue. But what that did was give us the invitation to really add some, maybe some kind of reflection here. Now, when you're thinking about this kind of reflection, you probably wanna think what, again, was the furthest thing back that it will be reflecting, and that's typically your sky, your clouds, things like that. So you want to take your small size brush, and we're going to go ahead and make some more of that light blue, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. I still got my plate here of mixing some of that original, and I'm going to go ahead and make some of that nice light blue, powdery light blue. And I've got my small brush. And what I want to do is almost, in a sense, mirror some of those clouds. Taking a little bit of paint that's left on my brush, and I'm just mimicking or mirroring the clouds. And again, the clouds are the light, lighter of the thing. We're going to actually have to make some reflection of some of those mountains too coming up. We'll get there. But these are a little bit more flatter, you can see. Got some puffiness to them. And you want to almost make it look somewhat similar. Now again, it's very difficult to be perfect on this step. Don't worry about it. All right, we're just we're just making the basic come to life a little bit more and adding a nice reflection. See, just I'm not using a whole lot of paint. I'm taking that paint as far as I can go without putting any more on my brush. And as you can see, there's kind of a little bit of a break coming up here with our paint, with our sky right here. You see it's a little bit dark right there. We want to kind of mimic this. So let's make some clouds start over here. <laughs> it's just fun. Again, very lightly and taking just a little bit of paint on your brush and extending it. Look at that, I haven't even put any more new paint since just starting this. I'm just taking whatever is left on there and adding some fun little bit of reflection. What that did was that added a little bit of depth. And if you want to add even more depth, just put a little bit of blue on your brush and you can start adding maybe some streaks of blue on your edge here. Just to add a little bit more depth. And what that does now starts to maybe add an illusion for some shadowing going on in your from your mountains right there. So take a look at this. Now typically you do want a lot of your water to be I'd say a little bit darker when you're doing reflection except when it's really hitting the light, the light's hitting it directly. It's tricky. Water is uh, one of those more difficult things like glass that's more difficult as well. Um, but again, I'm just adding some streaks of blue, just breaking up some of this and making it look like there's more. When you do this like side to side, kind of breaking it up like tiger stripes right here, that gives the illusion that maybe there's some ripples in the water, a little bit of a wave, a little bit of something that's a little bit, some movement happening in your water. Yeah. It gives the illusion, all an illusion. Just some basic reflections. Water. Look at that. Now again, you can mess around with it, add more light blue, you can add some, you know, brighter clouds if you like, brighter reflection, whatever you want. This is up to you. This is your painting. You're the artist. And you can see 
they got that, the cool reflection just popping off that water. And I'm kind of blotting or dabbing that brush just a little bit. And it gives, again, the reflection. I'm going to do that on the other side here. Maybe add some of those. You can see what we're making out of these, just these basic colors. Really pretty. Again, you can keep working on this for so long, so you can keep it up, but you know, this is what it's all about. Having fun with it, enjoying it. I'm going to bring this up a little bit closer so you can see exactly what we're doing, and enjoy, guys. All right, so now you can see up close, we worked on those clouds reflecting, all right, but there's also another element that you still need to add to make it look a little bit more realistic, like it's reflecting for real, and that is really reflecting some of your mountains. Now, this is a little bit more of a difficult step because it's a little bit more detailed in depth. I want you to go ahead and make some of that original brown, red, and yellow, and a little bit of black will make that original brown. Now this one, we're going to do the flat, I got a flat size brush, you can also use a small brush. But what I want you to do is just kind of back and forth, I want you to break up some of this water here. Look at this. I want you to break it up and you can see what I'm doing is I'm creating the illusion of maybe some land mass on the water here. Okay. And I'm very lightly with my brush, barely, barely touching the canvas. Barely, barely touching it. Adding like these almost like these little streaks. So I'm gonna add some over here. Obviously, we got a big mountain over there. And it's okay if it goes over some of your white, some of your blue. It's all good. Just taking some of that and breaking it out. Look at that. Little bit different, little bit different of a step. It can be a little bit scary because we're, you know trying to just visually understand you know some of these you know a little bit more difficult steps it's really tough to kind of comprehend um, we're again we're using like basic color so we're just kind of going to the ground but you know I've seen a lot of artists really delve into the color wheel and use so much more color and value and, and add tons of layers into it, but again, we want to just go with the basics for now and at least get you the, an idea of how to turn the simple things into a little bit more extraordinary for you, okay? So check that out. <laughs> some fun reflection. That's all it is, just some fun reflection. We're just using some of the brown that I have left. We could use maybe a dark blue in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna work with it. I'm gonna get some of this here. So. Now some of those mountains should be covering the reflections if you want it to be a little bit more realistic. But again, we're gonna just do the basics. And I love that you're sticking with it. Again, a little bit more advanced. As we go along. And let's go ahead and add this mountain over here. That's what we were reflecting just a little bit there. And really what you can do is you can take your brush, kind of wipe it off, add some plain blue on there, and you know, kind of add it into some of the brown just so it just looks like maybe still more of that watercolor. And it's just, you know, you don't want it to be just like that around up there. But at least you can see now, you blend some of that blue right over it, and it just gives like a nice darker effect. Illusions, illusions, illusions. And I'm add more over here. Fun, isn't it neat? I'm putting just blue right on top of some of that brown. 
giving the illusion some land over there soon don't worry <laughs> I love it I love it if you make a mistake you just add like some paint right over it okay. fun fun there you go guys some blue over your brown it's all good and you can see some obvious reflections. There you go, guys. That is your water. Okay. So, on that, that you know tutorial there, we were learning how to add some reflection. All right. So we had our basic mountains. We added our side to side kind of blotting, dabbing of our light blue to create the cloud effect. Then we added some brown just to kind of go side to side. Um, almost making like a ripple effect looking like it is water okay breaking up some of that just mirroring some of the shadows that we're getting off cast of those mountains and then what we do is we add a nice layer of just blue plain blue right on top of some of that brown just to keep the water looking like blue color all right so as you can see we got a nice illusion of some reflection right there get ready we're gonna about to boost this up with some land some trees some color um, this is looking a little basic, so I want to add some fun color to it. So let's get some plain green. All right, so as you can see here, we've got our clouds that we turned in a little bit more, something more exciting. We turn our basic mountains into something even more exciting with all that texture. And we decided to add some reflection onto that. So on top of it, I want to add a little bit more life into this painting, just a little bit more, um, something special so these are some details before we work on to some of the other things i'm going to put some plain green on my brush just a little bit and i'm going to go ahead and blot or dab some of this green and just kind of maybe break up some of these areas down here okay i'm just adding a little bit of green just kind of breaking it up here but what's so exciting is that you can just keep adding to these paintings you can keep going um, you know, I want to add a little bit of green, maybe up in here into these mountains. I really love when you get that life starting to happen on a painting. And look at that, just a little splash of green goes a long way. Oh, there's a lot right there. Whoops. Don't worry. What you do is you take some of that and you just bring it up to other places. Look at that. See? Even if you feel like, oh gosh, I made a mistake. No, what am I going to do? Don't worry. That's what you don't do. It's, you just chill. You just take some of that original paint and you just bring some of it on there. Look at this. Look at all that coming to life stuff it does now. You can see I'm just going all over this canvas very randomly. I have no need to find an exact place to start or stop just going all over the place and that green is toning down because it's going on top of a darker brown so it's not naturally just getting a little bit more toned down bring a little bit up there there you go look at that some life into the painting some greenery it's so beautiful don't you agree keep it going and add some over here look at that whoa I bet it's bright on top of that brighter highlighted area. Look at that. And I'm just taking whatever is left on my brush and adding it to the painting there, creating just a fun effect. There you go, guys. Some life. Get ready. We're going to add some trees, some happy little trees. Oh, yeah.